Hi, I'm Peter Melnick, and I'm going to talk today about the making of a song I wrote called Sometimes a Monster. Uh, I could only write Sometimes a Monster when I got to a certain place in my life because it's a song about damage and healing. And I wrote it in the wake of some very intense experiences with my kids, experiences that were painful for all of us, but also an incredible gift because they allowed me to understand things that they were going through as young adults um, and some damage that I had a direct cause in. Also, the word enabler came up and I began to understand that uh, I played a role in all of it. But if I was present at the scene of the crime, so, so were my parents and my long gone grandparents and great grandparents and even a couple of great great grandparents who up until very recently were nothing more to me than names and a couple of sepia photographs on a bookshelf. So that's the background and now it's the night before my 59th birthday and it's two in the morning and I, and I sit down to play a couple of songs on the piano before bed and I, I play a song by Dory Previn called The Empress of China which takes a, a a view of damage going through not just a few generations, but really the millennia. Uh, it, it's, um, it's an amazing song. One, one of the verses goes, an echo hears an echo and a father's fist is raised. The face I turn from you shows my distrust. The way that one behaves is determined in the graves of all the great grandparents gone to dust. It's an amazing song. Um, and I also played through John Lennon's incredibly naked song, Mother. Um, the first verse of which goes, Mother, you had me, but I never had you. I needed you, but you didn't need me. So I've just got to tell you goodbye. And there's a verse about his father, and then the last verse turns forward toward the, the future generations, and it says, Children, don't you do what I have done. I couldn't walk, but I tried to run. So I've just got to tell you goodbye. And the song ends up with the phrase, uh, Mommy, don't go. Daddy, come home. Mama, don't go, Daddy, come home, until it becomes a scream. He says it over and over again. So I played through that song, and I went there, I screamed. And then, right when I thought I was going to go to bed, suddenly those songs shook something free in me, and I got a glimpse of something, and I started to scribble it down, and, and uh, I saw the sunrise that morning because I just had to get it all down. And it began, the trail of sorrow goes back beyond reach, back for ancestors unknown, and the roots of pain drill down under the skin, down to the bone. It's one of the many things we own. And that was only half of the idea. And so the refrain, what, be, what I thought might become the chorus of a song one day, uh, began with, this phrase came to mind. It, it's a phrase in the Lakota language, the, the language of the Sioux peoples. Uh, and I'd learned it as a, a, a young adult when I was a journalist writing an article on the Sioux Reservation. Uh, it, the phrase is metakwiasen. Metakwiasen is a phrase that's used at the beginning of many Sioux prayers. Um, it translates roughly into English as all my relations. All my relations evokes the sense of the interconnect interconnectedness of everyone. And th that phrase was, was just so much what I was searching for here addressing all my relations with love. Um, so not to talk about trauma that's not been healed. I don't want to indulge in cultural appropriation here. It's definitely not mine, but it's a beautiful phrase, and I thought I am going to use it. So the, the chorus that I wrote that night was, all my relations, I don't blame you, I forgive you, I thank you. And then as soon as I wrote that, I had a problem with it, which is I don't really feel like I have to, I, I can forgive you because... I don't have, I don't blame you, therefore there's nothing to forgive. So it became two phrases. All my relations, I don't blame you, I forgive you, I thank you. I don't blame you, I thank you, I love you. And that became a year later, sometimes a monster. Okay, that's enough out of me for one day. Thank you for listening. Please leave comments if you like. Um, if you haven't, I invite you to sign up for my newsletter, uh, and join the conversation. Till next time. Bye-bye.